One of the best, if not the best, outright pound for pound fighters on the planet right now, Terence Bud Crawford, will be looking at a fourth world title in as many weights on Saturday night as he takes on dangerous WBA super welterweight champion Israel Madrimov over in LA this weekend. Crawford, who became undisputed both light welterweight and welterweight across recent years, is looking to take those skills to light middleweight this weekend. And, you know, what's been seen by many to be a potential bridge to a possible showdown against Canelo Alvarez early next year. Crawford can ill afford to look that far ahead here, however, is standing his way on Saturday night, is one of the best fighters at light middleweight right now, and one who is a natural 154-pounder as well. Uh, before I get into a best bet for this fight, I just want to remind everyone of Wager Talks Get August Free Deal, which is going on right now over on site. Uh, basically, by September and October, combined in a combo deal and get August completely free at no extra cost beyond that. Um, we're just over a week away from the start of the new EPL season as well, and for the upcoming year, myself and Nick Borman have teamed up to offer a two-for-one all-plays package for the entire season. That's every single selection, myself and Nick release all-plays, every 5% release as well, right through until May 2025 for half price. So get on board that. We both had outstanding seasons in the EPL last year. I was the EPL totals profit leader on the season as a whole and Nick's been number one in soccer since May 3rd so great time to jump on board and keep cashing those tickets in the EPL all season long we're turning to the best bet for this fight I think these two styles mesh up extremely well here you know Madrimov is an elite offensive fighter you know by any definition you know he can switch hit um, <clears throat> he's got good time and good range he's got you know really really high end athleticism as well meaning he's adept a crash in the pocket, closing range quickly also, you know, he's got power on top of that, but, you know, he can be defensively vulnerable in the ring, you know, Madrimov likes to utilise that high guard of his, a neutral, generally an open high guard as well, where, you know, we can utilise that offence, um, but that's going to allow Terence Crawford's lead hand to take over in this one, you know, Crawford absolutely feasts on high guards, and there isn't a better counter puncher in the game, and Terence Crawford either, so, you know, he'll be there all night long with counter hooks. should Madrimov decide to lunge into the pocket, as he's been prone to do in fights before, so, I see this one going, you know, similarly to the main machine Kavalowskis fight in a lot of regards for Crawford, you know, I do believe Madrimov's high-end athletic ability is going to cause some problems for Terence Crawford early in this one, we know that's when Crawford tends to be most vulnerable, um, but Crawford's got that dog at him at the end of the day, and he does adapt to whatever's put in front of him. You know, he was caught flush with multiple big right hands up top early against Kavalowskis in their fight. Um, one of them put him down as well, although the referee made a mistake, in my opinion, and ruled it a slip. Um, and I think it'll be a similar case here. You know, possibly not in terms of Madrimov having that same level of success early that Kavalowskis found, but Madrimov's best chance of winning this fight is to go on the offensive from the start here, in my opinion. He's not going to outbox Crawford. Um, he needs to use that greater size, use that power of his, um, to basically say to Crawford, look, this is my division. I'm the 154-pounder here. You're coming up to my weight class. And try and put it on Crawford from the outset. Obviously, something that's easier said than done. But the more he does that, um, you know, just like Kavalowska's trade, you know, the more offensive he gets in this fight, the more Crawford will respond in kind. It's almost like Crawford never forgave Kavalowska's for that early success he had against him. You know, he really turned the screw in the mid rounds of that fight, you know, started putting a beat him, beating on him from around round five or six of that fight, um, leading to the eventual stoppage. So I don't think we see this one make it the distance on Saturday. I believe both fighters are offensively blessed, um, but at least in the case of Madrimov, defensively liable as well, which should mesh up really well here into an all-action fight on Saturday. Because of that, I'm going to take the under 10.5 rounds here at minus 125, gets us to the middle part of the 11th round. Someone gets stopped here, in my opinion, likely Madrimov, but I certainly wouldn't be too shocked either if the bigger man was able to catch Crawford with something big in this one. Uh, likely early, you know, that's that's when he's most vulnerable. And, you know, a fighter that for as, as elite as Crawford is, he nevertheless turns 37 next month, going up to a higher weight class. So, potentially, Madrimov could be catching him at the right time here. But for the purpose of this video, look, keep it simple. Best bet under 10.5 rounds at minus 125 on Saturday. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Is this the stepping stone Crawford needs? 
for a huge Canelo Alvarez fight early next year or you know can Madrimov tear up the script and welcome Terence Crawford into the division with an L let me know down below and as always don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so it's always appreciated and until next time Slana Walia best of luck on all your bets